on Wednesday nights. Julian had to take her downtown on the bus for a reducing class. After a while. She said Julian could at least put himself out to take her, considering all she did for him. Julian did not like to consider all she did for him. Sometimes it's hard to really connect to what people went through since then, especially to be segregated and feel like an outcast. And being part of it, I felt like, oh, it really gave me an idea of what people went through and the struggle it was to obtain some sort of equality in America. His mother loved all children, black and white, common category, cute. And she thought that little Negroes were on the whole cuter than little white children. <laughs> and out of the dark, a large, gaily dressed, sullen looking colored woman got on. With the little boy! <laughs> I immediately got it. Uh, I mean, I was very uh, excited about Flannery O'Connor. The bus stopped. I, it could not have happened without this performance. And the Negro who had been reading the newspaper. <laughs> It was a revelation of reality. It was a flashback to a time that I wasn't even born into, but it brought it right to my doorstep and made me think about what that moment was for those people. So the audience was standing room only. Um, it was packed out and I believe everybody enjoyed it. Um, at the end, the song was beautiful. Some people were brought to tears. It, it was beautiful. It was. It, it all came together at the end, even the, the, the end of the story was, was shocking, you didn't expect it.